Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Magic in the Basement. Um, sorry this was uh, out late. I know it's a late night uh, one. Um, but this is my quickie combo for the day. Um, again, you guys can play blame uh, Pokemon Quest. I've been like hooked on that thing. And I'm also uh, trying to think of some uh, good synergies and combos for the Battle Bond event this weekend I'm going to. Also, good luck on that for you guys. I'm going to try to um, video my pools my uh, for the Battle Bond. I'm not sure how my LGS feels about that. I'll try my best. If not, I'll write them down and let you know, guys know what I pulled anyway. All right, anyway, this quickie combo. I'm talking about this Overlooked Mythic. Uh, I think this is a couple dollar Mythic. You know, nobody likes it yet. Six mana for a Reach Trample. It gets plus one, plus one for each land you control and each land in your graveyard. So it's a zero, zero, but it's a one, one for each. So if you're playing it without mana accelerators on turn six, it's a six, six. But it's got the um, return two lands you control to their owner's hand and then return this from your grave, Multani from your graveyard to your hand. So it's got rare currents. Um, now, the cool thing about this is if you're using fetch lands, I mean, this is a standard card, but if you're using a commander, you got fetch lands, it gets plus one, plus one off your fetch lands, too. So you say you drop your fetch land turn one, go and get a, you know, shock land or whatever. It's uh, going to get, when, when you do play it, it's going to count the fetch lands as well. Actually, uh, in standard, you got a couple of common fetch lands, um, like uh, Evolving Wild. Um, then you got other lands like uh, Field of Ruin that, you know, you, you sack them to blow up the opponent's lands. It's still going to get work off of that. Anyway, pretty pretty good creature. Reach Trample. All right, this one's going to be simple. Boom. Uh, right here. There, there it is. Black Blade Reforged. One of the most overlooked strong cards I can think of in this set. It gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. Equip Legendary Creature 3. So it's a 2-drop. Okay, so you can play on turn 2 and equip a Legendary Creature on your next turn. Now, its side effect is if you're equipping a regular creature, it costs 7. Yeah, that's not good. But it just goes to show, Maltani, Legendary Creature. You put this on Maltani, you pretty much win the game. Because you're getting, all right, you're getting a Reach Trample, and like I said, if you played it naturally, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Then you put this on it, and it became a 12-12. Twelve, twelve. Boom. 12-12 twelve, twelve, Reach Trample Reoccurring. Because even if they kill Maltani, your artifact, your, your equipment stays in play. You can return your Maltani to your hand, play it again, and then they still got that problem. And, I mean, uh, yeah, it's it works on Legendaries better. But in Dominaria, there's so many great legends. So many ones. There's common ones. I mean, uh, uh, actually, let me refer. I don't know if there's common ones. I know there's uncommon ones. There's rare ones. There's mythic ones. Some of the uncommons are just as good as the rares. I mean, you got the green red one. I forget his name, like the Fire Fletcher. You know, he's three mana green red. Throw this on him. He just got, became a. Uh, I think he's a 3-3 normally. He just became a 6-6, and then he burns people when you play kick spells. And in green-red, you got plenty of kick spells. They, or if you're doing the Merfolk one that draws cards when you play Historics, it's five mana for her. You put this on her, she became a... She's a 3-3 normally. She just became an 8-8, eight, eight, and then she draws a spell because you played this. If she was out first, obviously. But this is such a good card, and there's so many great legends in the in this format right now. And if you don't play this format as standard, and you play, you know, commander, boom, your commander is going to be great because it's a legend. You so you always have something to play this on when you draw it. You know, and it being a two mana, it's searchable with certain cards. You know what I mean? Um, you could tutor it out, put it on your commander. Great for Voltron decks. But yeah, my quick combo for the night is Multani and Black Blade Reforged. I think it's a great combination. And uh, finance-wise, it's a cheap combo. 
Uh, I think Black Blade is a buck, maybe a quarter. I don't know, somewhere in there. It depends on where you're getting it from. And Multani, I think, is maybe three dollars max. Again, they're cheap. Um, they're not they're not highly played. But if you want to, you know, something fun to play in your Friday Night Magic or something, something casual, you know, boom, there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I will be trying to brew up some more combos for you as soon as I can. Um, and I'll get back to you with some more quick combos, some more openings if they allow me to open my uh, videotape, my openings at the game shop. Also, um, I was uh, talking to a couple of people. I wanted to know what you guys think about uh, kill that ant. Oh god! See, this is another good reason why I like to leave them in sleeves. But um, I was talking to a couple of people, and I want you guys to leave in the comments what you feel about uh, me doing like a thing where you guys could like send in stuff for me to open on, um, you know, videos like uh that kind of thing um or send in alters that you like or if you do alters you know and you want to promote your alters uh, in a video of mine that kind of stuff if you guys want to do that i would like to know leave it in the comments some, a couple of people suggested it but i want to get some feedback from you guys um just you know in the comments you could say you know yes or no that's simple i'll know what you're talking about on this video all right, thanks, and um, you guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.